Okay, good morning everybody. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, in today's video, I went to a state sale this morning, so let's just cut to it. Here's the state sale footage from my phone. Sorry, I didn't have my camera. Enjoy just some random clips. Okay, and we're back. Um, yeah, sorry, there those clips, I didn't really take much. Um, there was a lot more at this estate sale than I was thinking, so I was grabbing a lot, uh, and I was talking to a guy, shout out to Trombley's Treasures, just met that guy, super cool. But just wanted to, as quickly as possible, show you guys everything that I picked up at this estate sale. Um, we got a couple plans for the day, um, so you'll see all the vlog footage after this stuff. Also, Special guest, Chonky Boy. Um, he's asleep, but uh, yeah, he's gonna enjoy all these finds. Okay, so starting off with non like clothing pickups, I especially like this one because it was for Landon. I think Bethany will appreciate this because she's an OT. We have these vintage building blocks, building bricks, I'm sorry, uh, flexible Auburn. I don't know what the date is on here. I don't know what the date is, but how cool is this tin? It's actually all in here. So all of this has got to get clean and sanitized for him to play. But I thought this would be a cool little decor piece and toy. So a multifunctional thing for his room. And then um, we have this vintage Emily City uh, <laughs> Emily City Spartans license plate type thing for decor for the room, the back wall. We found this vintage Emily City coin purse, State Bank coin purse. Thought this was really, really cool. It's on a Lee zipper. Anybody seen a Lee zipper before? Um, and something I totally forgot that I put in here was this vintage military, like this vintage military pin. And these are kind of, uh, I guess one of them is kind of like a clothing thing, more of an accessory um, or can be used as an accessory. But this first one is this, almost like this feed bag, but it says dog. Thought this was cool. I thought this would be cool to hang up um, in the kitchen, maybe by Samson or something. And then this one, I thought this was a Levi's back pocket, but we have this little tote here, school book fairs. And then, okay, pretty sure this is probably what most of you guys care about is the clothing. Just some basic essentials here. We got this Sears Robux, brand new, single stitch all around. If you guys can see the tag here, show them the tag, there you go. Hanes, like I wanna say this is like 50s or 60s Hanes, maybe 70s Hanes, wife for Spectre. And we got the McGregor also, this one's brand new. It has the cardboard here. Those are just like a buck a piece and I literally, ruined a couple of my other ones that I wear. If you guys know, I like to collect vintage Emily City things just because this is where we live now. And real quickly, I don't know if I've officially like showed the jacket on the channel, but Emily City FFA from the 60s. Just wanted to show you why. But these jackets here, um, some of them are Emily City, so I might keep one, but if you guys want anything, again, check out the Instagram, at shop just some things, but we got this vintage um, on a Hartwell tag, which is nylon varsity jacket, production tool supply, nice like navy colorway, nothing on the back. It's got some cool fading, if you ask me. This one might be a personal, I don't know. Then we have this vintage like 70s I want to say or maybe earlier but this is their last name Seidel Seidel I don't know but another like coaches type jacket there's something in the pocket do I want to know what it is used candy the tag is on West Wind on a West Wind tag sorry the hangers kind of in the way but on the back Emily City, American Legion. And then we have the same, another type of jacket. I think this one is a newer one, um, just based off the Holloway tag here. This one has a patch, cool, Seedow, US Army, and then uh, Great Lakes National Cemetery. Volunteer, back again, American Legion, Emily City. I think this one for sure will be for sale. I was super excited about this. I found a vintage 70s Big Mac flannel. 
nice colorway, perfect time for this. And this is like a, um, more of like a woven cotton material. Uh, everything we have here, I don't actually fully know what's in this bag, but we found this, I found this vintage military bag and I, they, they were charging 45 for all of this. I think the bag in itself, you can get at like the surplus for like 20. So, and it's full of fatigues, like vintage army fatigue. So I'm gonna go through it and kind of show you guys cause I don't actually know what's in here. But the bag is super cool. Little military shirt, um, no contract date, no nothing in here that is visible to me currently. So, but it's got the patches on here. I appreciate this stuff. I have a lot of family who is in the military, in the Navy, used to be Marines. So I come from a military family. My grandpa, I believe, was in the military. So um, that's really why I buy these kind of things and I think they're cool. So a little cap. These are what I saw. Oh, I did not see these. Holy cow. These are sweet. Oh my gosh. And I think they're my size. Somebody date these for me. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these pants, they're so cool. Oh my gosh, and I think they're my size, but they have the five star buttons on them. Distressing, some paint on them. I'm gonna have to date these. I think they're super cool. They've got like the 3D, 3D type pockets, which um, super cool. Super, super cool. I did not know these were in there. Um, so I'm soaked on that alone. And then, oh, we got two pairs. This one's a little more distressed. Super cool, same size, so perfect. We have the shirts here, US Army. This one's super nice, distressed again. Rare, very nice wear and fading. Um, this is the kind of stuff I look for. I don't particularly like the brand new looking stuff uh, when it comes to military and army. And then we have another khaki one. This one, patches were removed on this one, but you guys get the gist. Um, these are all pretty much, this is pretty much what we're all looking, what I'm looking at. Same thing over and over again. Super cool. Love these. Love the buttons. Um, I think I can probably date them by the buttons, but I'll have to ask somebody. Yeah, this one is super cool. And I'm saying that because the collar is like super, super distressed and so is the back and stuff. And uh, the last thing, holy smokes, this is heavy. The last thing is this jacket. Oh gosh this is so cool i actually have something just like this upstairs that i have not worn yet um from i want to say 68 or 69 but this jacket oh man look at all this stuff this is so cool um and i want to say there's a liner in here <laughs> give me a second oh really quickly from a quick google search this patch um that i was asking about it says it's a U.S. Army European Communications. Um, don't know what that is. If somebody could give me some info, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna ask in the Loot Fam Discord. So, yeah, but that's everything that I got. Super, super cool. Um, hope you guys enjoy this portion, and let's get back to the vlog. Here's the haul. Is Chunky like the military stuff? Yeah. You like it, buddy? Hi. Say hi. You guys already know where we're going behind me. It's Friday, so that means... Cream. <laughs> Cream. But uh, yeah, we stopped at the post office to get a passport and we forgot the actual birth certificate. We had the copy, but we need to come back. So we're just gonna do what we're gonna do here. Um, grab coffee, eat some lunch. Uh, I stopped to buy a community church thrift store. It was like in an old house. Kind of cool, bought a couple things. Just, it, they, they were like super cheap. So I bought like 80s deep pile brand type. I mean, there is a brand, but not name brand. Lease, kind of like what I'm wearing, except mine's not. 550 Levi's, some clothes for Landon. But uh, yeah, just wanted to say hi. Chonky Boy's asleep in the car. You can't see him, but uh, going to cream. Maybe um, I'll let them say hi to you guys, actually. We're at Bethany's favorite coffee shop. New favorite coffee shop. I think I did already. Oh, you did. Like uh, all the other times we've been here. <laughs> Every time we come here. Show us the puppets. Do you know if they're open over there or no? Yeah. They are open? Yeah. I think they're closing at three though because of winter fest. Okay. So you 
sugar cookie lattes. Cheers. Cheers. Chonky cheers. Downtown avocado sandwich from Dagwoods. Great combo. Cream, Dagwoods. Beautiful wife. Beautiful chonk. This is Peyton. Shout What's out to up, you, guys? man. Barista cream. I know, right? Fit check here. Dude, Travis Scott's come on. In the wild? Literally. Legit. Sick, bro. Legit. <laughs> Sugar cookie pop tart. She's gonna shake her head. <laughs> You're gonna like this. Here, let me see the inside. Oh, cool. Back at home, really quickly, we had to grab the birth certificate because, of course, we forgot the real one. Um, but just wanted to show you guys everything I got at that Grace Community Thrift, I think it's called. Here's this deep pile fleece. I liked the tag, backpack. Union made, so this is 80s, I would say. We got a pair of 550s. You guys want a pair of these? Let me know. 550. Back patch is a little dirty. 3430 is the labeled size. The rest of this stuff is just for Landon. This vintage 80s, 90s raglan cut crew neck. This is the back. There's nothing on the front, but it's on the fruit of the loom. And these aren't vintage. Thought they were cute. Little woody like shirt. It says uh, there's a new sheriff in town. And then uh, just this onesie truck pocket tee hit. All right, so we're going back. We got to do some grocery shopping. Fit check. All right, cute little knit sweater. Walmart black. Cute onesie. It's ribbed. These are the old navy. 90s. Yep, 90s old navy boot cuts. And these thrifted Fuji Converse. Koala baby. Matching Converse. Uh, old navy jeans. We're matching, matching. <laughs> and then just some random thrifted sweater. Daddy's turn. Toledo Zoo wolf dad hat. This 80s Woolrich fleece. Underneath we got just a uh, thermal. And then these are 70s Sears Thumbs Up Flare Jeans. These are Bethany's. Um, and then we got Chuck 70s to match. And then we got jewelry. Turn on. All right guys, so we're at home. We just cooked dinner and I wanna show you guys cause we're super proud of it. Um, we made Don Don Noodles it's called. Um, we got a little noodle book and we decided to cook something I finally from it. I only use it after having yeah. it for a year. <laughs> but uh, we'll show you guys really quickly and then uh, that'll be it for this day. ground beef, ramen noodles, peanuts, bok choy, um, homemade dandan sauce. It's like peanut buttery goodness. Look at that. Okay. This is we're at Salvation Army. I mean, Goodwill. <laughs> Wanted to show you quickly what we got so far. Single stitch, Tucson, Arizona. I got this like 80s Gap jacket. It's got a bunch of Pizza Planet. Sorry, got a bunch of patches on it. This cool little woven jacket type thing. The 60s sweater shirt. Got a thermal again. So, and then we got landing some cute things. Polo, two Winnie the Pooh overalls. Look at that. <laughs> 